Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data Big Questions. And so today we're going to tackle a question that machine learning engineers and data scientists are kind of, have kind of been tackling as we go through deep learning. So we're going to talk about the difference between training and inference and what are the different characteristics in each one of those fields. So find out more right after this. So welcome back. So today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about training and inference. But before we jump into that, I just want to offer out an opportunity for make sure you're subscribing to the channel so that you never miss an episode, never miss any kind of topics that we go through. And then secondly, and most importantly, if you have any questions, if you have any ideas for the show, make sure you put them in the comment section here below. Go to thomashenson.com forward slash big data, big questions submit the questions there below, find me on Twitter using the hashtag big data, big questions, or just find me on Twitter and you know reply to me directly. My DMs are open so you can ask any questions. I'll try my best to answer them here on the show and we can go through and have a lot of fun with those questions. So it's been a, been a really awesome um, experience and just being a part of the community has been really, really fun. So now let's jump into today's question. So today's question comes around the concept of training versus inference and you know, if you're if you're new to deep learning and data science, it's probably not something that you've ever really heard before. However, if you're you know a data engineer or you've been an application developer for some time, you you can really understand it by just thinking about this is what we talk about with test dev, and this is what we talk about about production. So training is our test dev environment, and inference is kind of like our production environment. Super simple way to to kind of talk about it, but it's a little bit. It's a little bit different from that traditional, but you know, first first way to look at it, just think about it like that. So let's talk about the differences really around training and inference and how that kind of applies to deep learning. So in training environments, this is where we're training an untrained model. So we're gonna use a neural network, right? We're gonna, maybe we're using TensorFlow, maybe we're using CAFE, it doesn't matter. This is just high level concept of, hey, we wanna be able to take and be able to train up the data. So let's say that we're using an image classifier. Let's say that, you know, a very popular thing to do in data science for some reason is to set up cat recognition, right? So you can go out there, maybe it's because of all the cat videos on YouTube, I don't know why. But go through, say, let's say that we want to train an image classifier and we wanna be able to identify cats in photos or not cats in photos, right? So image comes in, does this image have a cat? Yes, does this image have a cat? No, good enough, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed maybe let's say that we have 2 million pictures of cats that are identified and we want to want to be able to push that data into our training environment. So we have those 2 million, let's go ahead and take another 10 million of images that do not contain a cat. And so now we've got a total of 12 million images. So in our training environment, we've got 12 million images and we're probably going to do the training with GPUs. So that's going to be, you know, a really high throughput. We're really pushing a lot of different photos and we're going through and testing it. While we're testing this model, what happens is it'll go through a forward pass, and if it gets the image right, then it's you know it's a okay. But then also when they're going through and looking back at the algorithm, they're going to go do something called backward propagation as well. And so this is the constantly you know changing the different weights, finding out you know how what's the best way for this model to identify: is the photo have a cat? Does the photo not have a cat? So when you think about it like that, just think of how these environments are. So your training environment it's really gonna be a large environment, right? So if you think about it, when we're comparing it to the simple example that I gave before, test dev, generally in test dev, you might not have a large, you know, a large environment, right? It might be something that has sample sets of the data and some other pieces. Your complete training and everything like that, sets of the data, it's gonna be in your training environment, right? So these are gonna be massive, you know, massive environments, probably gonna be done in your data center, and you're gonna go through and you're gonna test it there. Now, once we have that model perfected, right, or as best, you know, as close as we can get, now it's time to put it out into inference. And so when it goes into inference, you know, that's where that's where the model's ready, right? So we're doing our cat identification. Let's say that it's in there. Let's say that it's integrated on something with a camera. Picture comes in. We look at the picture. Does it have a cat? Does it not have a cat? We're able to say, yes, it has a cat. And so if you think about that, that can be just a small device. That could be a phone. That could be, you know, something on, you know, a simple compute, you know, a simple PC or laptop. It could be, you know, some kind of IoT device out in the field. So think of it as being able to be on an edge device. Not a lot of need for compute, not a lot of need 
for you know GPUs and be able to be able to push a lot of data through because we've already trained that model, right? We're you know we're we're perfecting and maybe we're adding a new module or a new new training element to it that's going to identify dogs now too. And so that's all done back in our training environment while you know in inference out there we already have this model that's ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this episode where we talked about training and inference. So just remember that, you know, our training environment is going to be very large. We're going to, this is where we're going to be training up those models. And in our inference environment, that's where we are using all the things that we've done from a training environment to be able to identify whatever we were looking for. So in our image, in our image classifier, we wanted to say, hey, is it a cat or not a cat? So that's all we have for today. Thanks again. Make sure you subscribe. And if you have any ideas for the show or any questions, make sure to submit those and I'll answer them right here. Thanks again.